What have you... What has he done?! What was that?! Hey, stupid! And I mean that to both of you at the same time! What on earth happened there? And can we recover from that? I don't know. Well, good morning there, everybody. It is Tuesday, and you know what that means. Welcome along to episode number six of our Assetto Corsa Competizione career mode with the sprint race weekend format. And we are going to go to Bizzano World Circuit Marco Simoncelli for the next round of our career mode. Lovely circuit. Last week we did a wet tyre test around here, so are we expecting rain at this circuit? Are we not? It may or it may not happen. We'd have to uh, wait and see. But uh, let's go get practised and we'll see if we're qualifying. All right, there's time to qualify. It's time to qualify this uh, lovely Aston Martin around uh, this circuit. So straight out. See how we uh, see how we do. Stay off the grass. It's just makes you can see is uh, making a few alterations to ABS and uh, traction control. Make sure that uh, everything is uh, to our liking, and we are good to go. So st straight. Oh my God! We almost got uh, very close to uh, very close to purgatory there. <laughs> well, I say purgatory. It's not uh, quite purgatory, is it? Okay, time to start our one and only flying... Well, I say one and only flying lap. Uh, we just finished one lap. It's now time to uh, start, though. We did a 42-2. That's pretty quick as we go through turn two, almost power sliding it through uh, turn two. And we're looking through turn three, looking very good through three, which is more of an acceleration corner, up to turn four, heavy on the brakes. For a bike, this... Uh, Oh, is that going to get our lap time deleted? No, that's uh, absolutely fine and kosher. And now through six down this uh, long back straight. I think this is where a DRS so could go if F1 came here. I don't know if uh, they have the facilities for uh, F1 to come here, though, as we go through turn seven. What do you think, folks? Would you like to see this circuit perhaps do a, an F1 race? I know we've had Mijello, and I know we've had... Uh, well, we... We have Monza, I should say. That's a, a video uh, being completed. Let me just uh, go and uh, facilitate the removal of that video. Well, I say facilitate the removal of that video. It doesn't look like it uh, wants to cooperate with me, does uh, this program. Nothing wants to cooperate on my uh, laptop today for uh, some bizarre reason. I don't know why. We are 1.8, 1.4 seconds up on our fastest lap. This is going to be down in the 40s. That's how uh, fast this lap's going to be. Hopefully we have a good final corner. We do have a good final corner. Coming up to the line, 1.2 something seconds. Is this going to be a 40? It is going to be a 141 flat. How do you do? Well, that's, um, that time's going to put the cat amongst the pigeons, isn't it? Engelhart was fastest in the final sector. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, so we've uh, got to improve that final sector for us. Okay, it's time for our second driver to uh, get out there and uh, do her thing now. And, uh... You know, you know when I said do our, do her thing, yeah? Her thing didn't involve uh, doing a pirouette in the pit lane. Unfortunately. Ev everyone right now is laughing. So they're like, oh my god, look at this guy. Where did you find this scrub? Well, the answer to that question is we didn't. <laughs> she found us. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. You know exactly where we, uh, where we are likely to have found her. Right. Now that we've got it pointed the right way, we can uh, try and put a lap in. Okay, so here she comes round to start her first lap. Let's see what uh, let's see what she does after she absolutely monumentally binned it uh, in the pit lane. That's got to be the most embarrassing thing you can do in a game, isn't it? Bin it in the pit lane. 
why why on earth you would uh, do that I haven't uh, got a clue through turn three see how she goes down to turn four a little, little wide through turn four but uh, oh that is a brilliant turn four now take turn five nicely lovely oh oh, oh turn that was beautiful that was absolutely beautiful. I have never seen a better turn five and turn six at Mizano ever into turn seven. Big, big, big heavy braking zone uh, here for you. And we'll see how it goes down to turns eight and nine. So I'm literally saving videos uh, as we go along here into turn nine. That's another video uh, on its way. Seriously, if I'm getting uh, loads done here, it's a, it's a godsend. Why is that at that? I haven't uh, misdone that format, have I? No, or have I? No, that's the, that's the right format. It's okay, folks, I'm looking at a video here. It's only... I don't know what's... Uh... Oh, it's fine. There you go. My computer having a word with myself. <laughs> Tell you what, we're using this Lambo to uh, to pull us along here. I think this Lambo might be helping us out um, with a pretty quick lap. Let's see what this lap is. It's a 41.3. That's, that's seriously quick for someone's first time around here. And uh, that's uh, how it finished because uh, we didn't improve on the uh, second lap. All right, race number one. So here we go then, race number one around the Mizano circuit, Marco Simoncelli. Hopefully uh, race one should be a formality. In fact, hopefully these two races should be more of a formality than uh, Brands Hatch was, because this is actually, you wouldn't think it, it isn't a rough circuit, but it's not, um, not what I would say a smooth circuit either. It's one of those uh, sort of in-between circuits that uh, no one knows what uh, what is gonna happen. Anyway, green, 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 we are off and underway. Let's see how uh, see how it goes going into turn two. Cold tyres as well, so we got to uh, deal with that as we go over the rumble stripper turn three. If we can get as far away from that uh, Lamborghini as uh, physically possible, that would be brilliant. This um, <coughs> it makes sense that an Aston Martin should be leading this show. I think we're the only uh, Aston Martin here. Well, I think we're the only Aston Martin here. There could be other. I know there's a Bentley. There's a bleeding Bentley here. That that Bentley weighs about five years. How that's uh, up here, I haven't uh, got a clue. So uh, let's carry on and see what happens. Okay, five minutes to go in this session. We're about to lay down an absolute stormer of a lap. This this is the true pace of this Aston Martin coming up right here. It's just on a 39.9. Jesus. I, I've just looked at that 39.9 that uh, we've just done there and uh, absolutely wet myself because that that was just an insane lap. I mean, Christ alive, a 39.9. Oop, a little deep into uh, turn four. That's going to be track limits, isn't it there? Hey, you just showed yourself uh, absolutely brilliant that you just made an absolute complete wet wipe of yourself there, Ian. Well done. Okay. We've got uh, just over uh, under 11 and a half minutes to go into turn three. Sorry, turn two. Turn three as well. Oh, that might be track limits. Is that track limits? That is track limits. I I want to debate you on that one because... Uh, uh, all right, we'll let you have that one because that one might be track uh, limits over there. Yeah, that was track limits. We'll, uh, we'll let you have that one. But I want to debate that first one with you if uh, you don't mind their game. Okay, 10 minutes to go. I think it might be pit stop time. Yep, into the pits we go. Oh my God, got uh, very close there. It's a nice easy uh, entrance into the uh, pit lane here at Mizano. Oh, that, le that left front's been uh, doing overtime and no no wonder because the back, literally that back straight is all le right hand kinks and they're high speed kinks as well, especially that final one. You've got to click it down a couple of gears to throw it into the corner speaking of uh, throw it in we're in our box and it tells us to go a little bit further forward that's absolutely fine so we get uh, our second driver in the car we'll get our second driver in the car 
get our second driver in the car. Uh, did I do number 74? I think I did do number 74. Yes, I did do number 74, didn't I? Yes, so 74 can go. Uh, that's it. That's all them clips there, isn't it? Perfect. Go dump them in the recycle bin. And that's the last we will ever see of them. He hopes. <laughs> oh, we got beat out by that Lamborghini. I am not having that. I am not having... Who is that? Is that Bortoletti? That is Bortoletti that uh, beat us out the pit lane. I am not having that. How did... He was miles behind and he got a faster pit stop. And I want his pit crew. I want his pit crew right now. Make sure that... Uh, how can that be track limits? We're in the pit lane for crying out loud. Right, that might be track limits. We'll... Um, We'll let you have uh, that one, but we want to get after him quick. Okay, seven minutes left to go, and you can see that, oh my god, we have got an absolute run of Bortoletti into the final corner. Oh, the car just uh, didn't want to adhere to the traction limits. Oh, uh, side by side with Bortoletti down to the first corner. You can see the uh, the radar indication, it's saying he's close, he's close into turn one. Got him. Absolute got him. Oh, and then the car got a tag slapper in two. And I think Bortoletti is back into the race lead here in the sprint race. Or first of the sprint races. My God, is he going to think about uh, turn four? No, he's not. He's going to wait and uh, bide his time. But great race in there. That's the kind of race that I want to see in this game. Not uh, the uh, procession stuff. As uh, we got to just under six minutes now left to go down the back straight here at uh, Mizano. It's... Uh, Oh, I might as well uh, just say because I think everyone's uh, probably uh, guessed who is uh, the second driver by now. Oh, my, my, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, there was, there was contact. There was contact there between Bortoletti and Jackie. Yep, it's Jackie. That's who it is in there. She's come GT racing with me. That's, uh, that's what the kind of stuff uh, you need to see right there. Oh, but uh, Bortoletti is not letting up here with five minutes, five and a half minutes left to go into the final corner. And Jackie is finding this Lamborghini hard to pass. What are you doing? Oh, yep, that's right, folks. Jackie's been the one making the mistakes uh, out there in the pit lane and on the track. We'll, uh, we'll let that uh, sink in as uh, we've got uh, just under four minutes left to go. Going into... Oh, is that... He's going to go for the big dive! The big dive into turn 13. And I think that's finally Bortoletti done and dusted. Is it? He's still there. He still wants to make some of this. That's wide into 14, I think, finally. No, no, he's still there. No, Bortoletti finally has to uh, concede. And finally, the race lead belongs to uh, Chase Liner 69. What a series of laps that was. That was a fight with Bortoletti. Let me, uh, let me assure you there, folks. Okay, coming on to the... But well, this, this is going to be the final lap of the Grand Prix. Uh, 40.9 for uh, Jackie, her fastest lap out there. My fastest, by the way, was a 39 something. Let's uh, let's point that out uh, to you all. Hopefully, uh, she can improve that on uh, this one here. Says he's going to get down. She might get down into the 39s, you know. She might get that. All depends on how uh, good of a turn 14 and uh, 15 she has. But I think uh, we are going to come and finish the uh, sprint race through the final corner. And it's going to be victory, I think. Let me uh, just check. Uh, yeah, 40.1 she just did for her fastest lap. And thank you very much. That is victory in race number one. Professionalism. 1,000 points for professionalism. I'm not sure Bortoletti gets a 1,000 points for his professionalism there. Because he was... Uh, how do we best describe him? Literally all over the place, I think, is uh, the best way to uh, describe him. It'd be nice to see both the drivers there. You know, it's, GT racing is a team sport. You don't just want to see one driver there. You want to see two drivers there. That, that'd be my... <coughs> excuse me. That'd be my, uh, my thought process uh, right there. But, uh, yeah. Victory in that race. 
I think it's time to go and do the next one then. Okay, it's time for race. Look at this beautiful sunset here at Mizano. It's 8 p.m. at night. We're going to get 20 laps of uh, GT, well, 20 minutes of GT racing underway in a second for you. Why are you not uh, closing when I told you to close? Because, uh, quite frankly, it doesn't want to close from the uh, looks of it. Let's get rid of you there as well. We're under green here at uh, Mizano for uh, race number two. My uh, computer is making all sorts of noises. If it's not careful, I'm going to uh, close that program down forcibly and then we'll see uh, what it does. Looks like uh, Jackie is doing that. Oh, she's got a bit wide. That's a bit wide in turn four. And that might compromise us slightly into six. No, it doesn't compromise her into uh, six. So uh, all is good. Green, green. Don't know why uh, yellow flags are out. I, I go through the uh, the replay. Oh, something's uh, something's not right. She, ooh, she, you, oh, she is really having to fight the grip here. Maybe it's just the change of conditions, you know, late, um, late race sun. Maybe, uh, oh, she is, she is really struggling here. I'm not sure. Oh, she's on the grass. Oh, 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 no, 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 Jackie, what have you done? What have you, what has he done? What was that? Hey, stupid. And I mean that to both of you at the same time. What on earth happened there? And can we recover from that? I don't know. All right, then. <coughs> Someone got on the team radio and uh, had a word. But uh, just over 16 and a half minutes left to go. We've got um, Robert. Oh, it's Robert Frines. That's who uh, I think crashed into us. No wonder it's uh, Robert Frines. That's uh, not going to end well, but uh, Jackie out to P15, which is good. Can she get P14 off Goslan, who is in the... What are you in there? Is that Proton? I have no idea what that car or that... Or is that a Lamborghini badge? I have no idea, but uh, that is P14 uh, done and dusted. We have got some uh, time to make up here now. But my God, what a crash. I don't know if we'll be able to recover from that. Anyway, up to uh, the Bentley now, McLeod. That might be uh, track limits there. Let's see how uh, this uh, Aston gets past this Bentley into turn four. Oh, a bit of contact there with the Bentley as well. Bentley uh, didn't like the fact it just got overtaken by an Aston Martin, which is a superior British uh, brand. Okay. Uh, just under 14 minutes left to go. Jackie now up to P13. She's on the back of Peril. Well, she was on the back of uh, Peril. Oh, there's more contact now. There's more contact. Everyone's getting the elbows out here. She's past one Ferrari. Can she get past the other Ferrari here? Uh, with just under 13 minutes to go as she goes through turns one, turns two. She's up to the back of this yellow Ferrari of uh, C. Van Dam see what uh, she can do. She's going to do this move into turn four again. Yes, she is. It's a textbook move into turn four. Love your work. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and that is P11. So she's making moves. She's making moves. And uh, now it's pit lane time. So she's going to come in at the end of this lap and she's going to take a stop right now, which I absolutely love and I absolutely appreciate as well. We can, uh, we can get behind that. <coughs> Let me just eject the expansion. I am, you know, I'm going to uh, forcibly shut that down. Now, can we get past... Oh, is that a Mazda? Is that a Mazda? That looked like a Mazda badge, uh, if I'm being completely honest there. If anyone knows what uh, what that purple car was, uh, please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments. I, I think it looks like a, maybe a Proton or a Mazda, but I don't think they're in the uh, Blanc Pan series. All right, start the task manager. I need to uh, close this hardware diagnostics tool uh, forcibly. See is how it, uh, it just won't. Yes, end task, please. End now. And 
do as you're told. Please. Thank you. Don't make me do it again. Right, so we're gonna... She's... Well, I'm, I'm behind the wheel now, so... Hopefully we'll get... Uh, we'll get something sorted, but uh, I need to end that as well, I think. Yeah, it just uh, won't seemingly end for uh, for some reason. Right. Head down. Sun is setting. Let's uh, get going. We've got just under eight minutes left now in this uh, second race. Yeah, it says it's uh, not responding. Oh, we've got to run on the Audi of... Uh, oh, uh, there's letters that really shouldn't be together. But uh, it's diving up the inside of turn seven. That is what we're talking about. I want to close the program. There we go. It's gone. Good. Get out of here. Should have got out of here a long time ago if uh, I'm asking. Use it come up to the back of turn nine. Don't want to get uh, too close to uh, that car there. Or is that... Um, yeah, no, that's... Uh, that's uh, the other Audi there. We've got loads of Audis in the way. We've got... Uh, I think that's Van Oot. Uh, Schottshorst. Uh, Manchester up uh, in the Mercedes as we dive it down the inside of turn four. We've been taking Lisa out of Jackie's playbook there with the uh, turn four dive. So that was a, a great move. Can we get a momentum run out of turn six to try and get... Oh, we may get uh, this guy down into turn seven. We may get Shot Horse down into turn seven here. Move ourselves up into P8. Let's see if we go for it. Oh, we've gone for it. You've left the door open there, mate. You left the door open. Day late, dollar short. I think we've got it. Yes, we have. Up into P8. Nice. Okay, we got just under five and a half minutes left to go. We're chasing down Manchester in this Mercedes. This should be a dive into 13, surely. It is a dive into 13. And next up is... Uh, oh, a bit of contact with uh, Manchester. Into outer 13. I don't think... Uh, why are you giving us a collision penalty for that? That's uh, his fault, not our fault there. Get it right over there, game. Okay, one and a half minutes left to go. We're right at the back of this Audi. Oh my God, that is a move into turn two. You don't want to be making uh, those kind of moves there. Hey, whoa! Oh, hello! I mean, Gasho, uh... <coughs> That's Stefan Gasho! I don't think he appreciated that one. And I don't appreciate it either. That was a nasty one. Anyway, coming up to the back. Oh, there's a bit of contact with uh, Riberan. I think, I think, oh, is it Riberas? I think it's Riberas. We're on the uh, final lap of the Grand Prix. This is going to be for P5. P4 is literally just up the road uh, there in the other Mercedes. So P4 would have probably been on the cards, but uh, it's going to be P5 if we get Riberas into turn 13. That's it. Nice and neat. And dive him. Perfect. Dive him, get him out of the way. Oh, a bit more contact there with uh, the, the Audi of Riberas. And finally we got him. There we go, P5. Leader has finished the race. So we're going to come back from Jackie's absolute mishap to finish P5. What a race. What a race. Jesus wet. I think uh, Compan won uh, won that race yeah eric compa won uh, that race from engelhart yeah but p16 back to p5 and then we can uh, take that as a victory uh, right there folks well that was something anyway thank you for watching uh, that folks i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so playlists have appeared all around go check out some more rockstar pool 69 content at your viewing pleasure but in the meantime stay safe be kind to each other if you can't become quiet, no place in the world you can't become to other people. We will see you tomorrow for F1 Manager 23 around uh, Azerbaijan, I think it is. And we'll see you on Thursday for the Hungarian Sprint Weekend. Oh, boy.